Late Night with the Devil was directed by Cameron and Colin Cairns and is a movie that I actually watched some time ago at a film festival and is going to be released on Shudder in April of this year. This is a movie that I wanted to talk about a while back but I wanted something to work with like a trailer or something because this being a visual medium you want something to go with me just talking about it. As for the black and white, it'll make more sense when you watch the movie, trust me. In this movie, we follow a 1977 broadcast of a talk show called Night Owls with Jack Delroy. Delroy, played by David Dasmalchian, has guests on that go with that medium of being a Halloween special. And as a result, you get a psychic, you get a former magician who is now a big skeptic and really questions everything in the world. And you have a parapsychologist who has just written a new book on a satanic cult and she's come with a girl named Lily. And eventually, as the night progresses, Weird things start to happen. It seems that there is something else in the room with that studio audience which is starting to take some effect. And eventually it leads to some stuff which I'm not going to go into because I don't want to give you guys too many spoilers. Actually, I don't want to give you any spoilers at all. I would rather you just walk into this movie without seeing too much. Late Night with the Devil is one of those movies that as a concept is something that I wanted to see for a long time. If you ever asked me on a dime, what is a pipe dream thing like we want to see on the big screen? My answer for the longest time would have been, I want to see a TV broadcast. And not just like a TV broadcast, like, you know, you see a, a TV show being filmed or something like that. I wanted to see a full blown thing, like with advertisements or with screens, like coming up next, you know, coming back now, like, you know, uh, back in a few with technical difficulties, stuff like that. I really wanted it to go as retro as possible. And what I really liked about Late Night with the Devil is it manages to do exactly that. The broadcast that is presented to you is very much in the sense of an actual live TV broadcast. You have everything that is in there to make it seem as authentic as possible. And it manages to convey that feeling very effectively thanks to the director's work. They've done an outstanding job of capturing this moment. Whenever you see the set designs or whenever you see some of the effects when stuff happens, it's very practical. There's actual makeup and you know effects that they've used for certain things. And I really like that they did that. It makes it feel just, you know, a little more authentic. And I just, I, I absolutely adored it. And eventually, as the scares commence, the film builds into that very, very effectively. Thanks to a slew of really great performances led by David Dasmalchian, who, thank God, has a leading role. I have been waiting for this for a while now. I've seen him in movies for... About 15 years, I would say The Dark Knight is the first time anybody saw him in a movie. Since then, till now, everything that he has done, I have always found him to be really, really good. And I always feel like he's a standout in the supporting roles that he does. And I like the fact that this movie gives him the opportunity to be a lot more and to actually be front and center. I'm so glad and I hope that this is not the only time we'll get to see that. I hope there are more movies down the line where he'll get to have such a moment to shine. His performance in here is really great. And as Delroy, what he does with that character is also great because he's essentially playing around with the aspect of, should I keep the show going or, well, is it a problem I should stop? And the problem is that He's also with the idea that, hey, our show, we need some numbers. And, uh, we, you know, we're a few seasons in. We want to keep people's interest and whatever's happening. It seems to be getting in viewers. There seems to be a big jump uh, the potentially in ratings coming up. So you want to make sure you capitalize on that as well. But also there are moments where he can easily stop things. And if you watch the movie, you'll go, oh, yeah, there is there are moments where you don't have to make certain things happen. But they happen because... Suddenly everyone's like, what? Let's, let's just see what happens, you know, like little, nudge it a little bit further. As the horror does commence though, it is very, very effective and it creeps up on you until it explodes and it is fantastic stuff and it's, it's just immaculately done. I'm not gonna reveal too much about how things go down eventually, but it is really, really great. I have one minor gripe with the movie, which is there is a stylistic change at one point which i don't know if that's as effective as i think it could have been it's a little abrasive it just kind of changes up something and i thought huh i don't know if you if you needed that it just it adds a couple of minutes to the movie where i feel like it just kind of you know breaks that regardless of that 
I absolutely love Late Night with the Devil. I'm so glad that it's finally coming out and that more people are going to get a chance to see it. But if you do get a chance to see it in theaters before, because it will have a bit of a run as well, I hope you get to see it with a packed audience. Because watching it with a packed audience was awesome. Seeing it with a lot of people and hearing those reactions come in was genuinely great. And if you get a chance to see it at home, get some friends over, have a good time. I'm sure you're gonna get your money's worth, their subscriptions worth, whenever you get a chance to see it. I'm gonna give Late Night with the Devil a 9.5 out of 10. And when you circle back to this review at some point of time when the movie actually does come out and you know you see the black and white, it'll make it'll make sense. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Look forward to more videos very, very soon. As and as always, if you like this, please do subscribe, and I will see you guys at the movies.